Hello everyone. Today I pulled back my Nakamichi 680ZX. You probably get tired how many upgrades changes I did for this deck. But uh, anyway, it requires one more change and I just replaced the output muting transistors with this Amron relay. Uh, it's like 12 volts and it's uh, consumed just 10 milliampere. 100 milliwatts and it switches very quietly I guess like these transistors like uh, show up that they work fine for the first hour and then gradually start to introduce distortion little by little after three hours a sound is that that distorted like uh, that I cannot hear it uh, not just cannot hear it I can't hear it because it's it's that much distorted. So uh, it's easy to set relay. So these transistors technically uh, pull to the ground uh, the output signals, right? So I replace it, uh, put this relay pins into the place where transistors has to uh, pull output to the ground. Uh, we have plus 12 volt here after this diode, all right? Uh, and like in opposite, like there will be minus 12 from this side, but after that it will be zero because current will be going in the reverse direction and additional pin to the coil ground is uh, with the wire. So as simple as that, let me assemble and let's listen how it will perform now. See you soon. Guys, I also want to show you something, right? So after replacing this relay, <coughs> I'm also replacing this I see 302 with um, 5532P uh, op amp, and it's an output buffer, so it uh, technically amplifies after Dolby board and before output and uh, before headphones amplifier. And now, what I want to show you really, I'm using ABEX tape. It's a little bit like face. I will fix. It's a little bit. Uh, Line, but the levels take a look now 12 kilogears 10 kilogears 6 kilogears 1 kilogears 250 gears so now it's extremely near <laughs> after all so the parts are aging, really. I took a look into this like um, muting transistors. All right, let me see if I can do it better. And what I see, I was cleaning already, soldering, but the legs are getting oxidized with like um, uh, black color. This means that uh, I suspect this transistor made the same technology as infamous 458 transistors, which are uh, over time getting slowly failing because these uh, uh, legs and like the plate are covered, uh, how's this in English? Uh, in Latin is plumbum. Like, <laughs> I forget how it's in English. The, the metal which oxidizes over time and like changes conductivity. So what was happening, uh, these transistors, like when they get hot, like over time, uh, all decks get warmed up, they started like to, um, I'm not sure, shorten a little bit, but the sound was shaping like, uh, like uh, was very harsh, like with, uh, with like really harsh corners, uh, not sinusoidal and so on. Like um, also with this, I see replacement uh, I never seen that linear output from 680. Even like after I installed these red capacitors, output was gradually increasing. Like from below six kilogears, we started like uh, one kilogears plus one decibel, 400 to 250. It was like plus two and a half decibel. All right, so it was uh, really pumping bus. And now, <laughs> wow, I never seen that linearity. All right. So let me assemble 
let me listen it on speakers now because like everything getting better and better really my previous attempt like was to fix transistors by shorting these diodes d102 and d202 and it did work for some extent like it was not uh getting that harsh it was just a little bit but yeah, i can still hear it right and with uh, these diodes like not shorted it was like uh, these transistors over time was like almost fully closing the sound it was barely coming out right like uh, it was like a, a shelf uh, on the level where it's gonna go higher all right all right i hope this will help with your research so now i'm like and remember i replaced it, uh, this mutant transistors in 505 and now i'm thinking i have two more relays <laughs> i'm thinking if i want to go in 505 is similar setup this tiny relays like works pretty well specifically they uh, mute only in stop mode so if i will play this relay will like unload and will not consume any energy. Only in stop mode, it's uh, coil activates and relay switches. All right. Pretty nice relay. Uh, I try to zoom in so you can see the model. Okay. I hope you can see it. G6K to PY. All right. So thanks for your attention. Like another video with 680. It's been with me like for four years. We replaced it everything we could, like uh, all capacitors. I replaced it, some transistors, replaced it, these three photo city six switches. Uh, we disoldered it, cleaned it, this like uh, speed switch. All right, we changes parameters. Like, uh, we did lots of work with it. I want to try to play with bias. <laughs> and now, now, like, again, like, to get to this spot and repurpose it for bias, like, I would need to cut the traces, like, do wiring. I will think about it. But it's doable, as you may see. I never thought that I would be able to get that quality of sound from 680. It sounds really terrific now. Thank you guys and see you in my next videos and bye bye. Okay, uh, you wouldn't believe me, but with this uh, replacement, I'm also gained the high frequencies during recording. I'm not fully sure how this happens, but it's the same tape I was tuning it like uh, just like two days ago. And now it shows like uh, way too many decibels on 15 kilohertz, like a one to plus three decibels when it was tuned just plus one. All right, so I have to retune it. Okay, let's do plus one for the type one tape. Plus one is better than plus three. All right, 15 kilohertz. Calibration now. Recording. Good. Almost in phase. Uh, to how to avoid it, right? So how to change it. Uh, we may put level, like offset. Start calibration now, you see? It will go to the side is it's adjusting and then go back to the levels you see there is offset by one division and recalibrate again still don't don't want to fully calibrate can do better i know i significantly change it all right, and now change level back. Come on. So when offset is bigger, the next time it's adjust way, way better. 
then when offset is, is just a little. That's it. Now we can turn it off and we can see 15 kilohertz perfectly free. So source tape 15.4. All right. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Still recording 23.4, 24. Source tape 24.4, almost 25 kilohertz. Let's do it even. 25, 26, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 16, 15, 15, source tape. Aha, uh -huh, you see, I like in the source mode, it degrades a little bit close to 25 kilohertz. So 15, let's go to 25. And now when I see I went in the source mode, it's a different level. All right, 15 and below, it keeps pretty well. All right, good. Pretty interesting results. I didn't expect it now, like uh, it can record same way as uh, Nakamichi 1000 XL, up to 25 kilohertz. With good parts and good schematic and like good tuning. All right, thank you. See you. Bye bye.